Welcome to another RTE video. Today, we're going to compare the Amazon Kindle Scribe with the Supernote and Remarkable 2. I've put together a chart to help us compare the three devices. In this video, we'll review each category and determine the winner. Let's start off with the price. In this category, the winner is the Scribe, being the most affordable with a starting price of $339, followed by the Remarkable 2 at $378, and the Supernote at $459. When selecting a model, the Supernote and Remarkable only come with one storage option, the smallest being the Remarkable 2 with 8GB and then the Supernote with 32. The Scribe, by comparison, has three storage options to choose from, 16, 32, and 64GB, making it the winner in the storage category. As a reminder, the prices shown do not reflect the additional accessories you can purchase, such as cases, folios, or different pens. Next, we'll look at the screen size and device dimensions. The screen sizes are almost identical. However, the most significant difference and advantage for the Scribe is the better screen with 300 ppi and backlighting. As for the dimensions, the Scribe is the widest at 7.7, but not the tallest. The overall largest device is the Supernote. When it comes to device weight, the lightest device and winner in this category is the Supernote at 13.2 ounces followed by the Remarkable at 14.2 ounces, and then the Scribe at 15.3 ounces. For connectivity, all three devices have Wi-Fi, but there are Bluetooth differences. For one, the Remarkable doesn't have Bluetooth capability, and although the Scribe does, the functionality is limited to audio devices. The Supernote, however, is the winner in this category as it allows for Bluetooth keyboards, thus making it more versatile for not only taking handwritten notes, but typed as well. When it comes to importing and exporting documents, the Scribe has the fewest options. To import, you'll need to use either the Amazon website, send to Kindle functionality, the desktop or mobile Kindle app, or use your Kindle email address. When using the device, you can share notes by emailing a PDF version of the document. As for the Remarkable 2, it allows for a wide range of online services to backup and sync documents. The device works with Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive in addition to its own cloud service by using the desktop or mobile app. It should be noted that Remarkable charges $2.99 a month for additional functionality, such as unlimited cloud storage. You can also connect the Remarkable to your computer to transfer files as well. Although the Supernote currently doesn't have the ability to use Google Drive or OneDrive, it offers some other key features. For one, you have the ability to use LAN Direct Transfers. LAN, which stands for Local Area Network, allows you to connect your Supernote with the Supernote app directly to transfer files. And perhaps the best feature is the ability to backup and transfer files using a USB-C thumb drive. Now, let's look at the supported formats. The winner in this category is the Kindle Scribe. There are several formats supported, such as Amazon Kindle AZW files, text, PDF, EPUB, Word documents, and JPEG. In second place is the Supernote. The formats supported are text, PDF, Word documents, HTML, EPUB, FB2, XPS, JPEG, and PMG. And in third place is the Remarkable 2, which allows PDF, EPUB, JPEG, PNG, and HTML. Although Word and PowerPoint files can be imported, they come across as read-only files. When looking at the exporting formats, the Scribe comes in last place. The only option available is to export the file as a PDF. In second place is the Remarkable 2, which allows you to export files as PDF, PNG, or SVG. Then in first place is the Supernote, which allows for the most formats, which are PDF, text, PNG, and Word documents. The winner in the battery category is the Kindle Scribe. I'm unsure as to the actual battery size, but it holds a charge for much longer than the Remarkable and Supernote. Of course, your experience will vary depending on how you use the device. For example, writing daily for a few hours with wireless turned on will drain your battery quicker, perhaps making your battery last only a few days. Here is where the comparison gap widens between the Scribe and its competitors. Although the Scribe wins when looking at the price, display, storage, supported formats, and battery life, what hurts the device the most, and the reason why in my review I didn't recommend the Scribe, is the major lack of features. First, let's look at what's good. The backlit display, 
and built-in Kindle ecosystem are top-notch. If this was only a regular Kindle that included annotating books, it would have been a recommended buy. However, as a note-taking device, it's the worst in the market. The functionality here is pretty basic. There are five brush sizes, a highlighter, eraser, redo and undo templates, and the ability to delete the current page. There is no way to select, resize or move handwriting, copy and paste, handwriting recognition, layers, or a document page thumbnail view. The missing features of the scribe is where the remarkable two and Supernote shine. The handwriting experience on both devices is excellent and makes writing and sketching enjoyable. As for the Remarkable, it does have two really great additional features, such as screen sharing and the newly released continuous pages. However, there is a clear winner in this category, and that goes to the Supernote. Some additional features that stand out is the ability to create links, not only to external sources, but internally in notes. Another is being able to bookmark, assign keywords, and star important writing, allowing you to organize and find your notes later. In addition, the Supernote team has published its software roadmap on Trello, allowing anyone to see the progress of features and submit requests for future enhancements. So let's look at the comparison chart and see the winners of each category. From the chart, you can see that the Kindle Scribe was the winner in 5 of the 12 categories. Price, Display, Storage, Supported Formats, and Battery Life. The Supernote was a winner in 5 categories as well. Weight, Connectivity, Syncing and Backups, Exported File Formats, and Feature Set. And the Remarkable 2 was a very close second in many of the categories. Overall, the Supernote and Remarkable 2 are at the top of their game and at the top of the e-ink writing market. Amazon has promised software updates to address the lack of features, but time will tell if they can catch up and surpass the competition. Well, that wraps up our video. If you have any additional thoughts about the devices we compared, please share them in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. This has been RTE, wishing you a happy new year.